I want to talk about uh, Carlson's uh, command for elevating, um, in this case, what's going to be curb lines, uh, 3D poly lines. So we have uh, multiple elevations as opposed to a 2D line, which would be like curb or something. Um, now, there's a couple prerequisites I want to get covered before we do this. Now, I'm going to click on this and hover over one of these uh, vertices. And if you look at the very bottom of the screen down here, the elevation is zero right now, but if I hover over one of these you'll see it's elevated and sometimes these will come elevated sometimes they won't um, I don't care I want to start out clean so the first thing I want to do is um, uh, change these to all zero elevations so I use a 3d entity to 2d I click on that if you look at the bottom here it asks for an elevation zero is good um, you can also type in an elevation here if you wanted to change uh, the elevation of something and then we select objects I'm gonna do this one now obviously if I was doing the whole job I would just pick that layer uh, of, of lines that I had and just make all those zero so um, um, let's see retain elevation of uniform 30 clients okay um, so um, we now go and have um, uh, with some distance here we have uh, these lines elevated uh, looks like they didn't so I've got to run that command again let's see 3d to 2d elevation 0 select objects there we go okay now I think it took yeah, and we'll find out when we open up the command. The other thing is, if if all these entities aren't polylines or they're joined, you can use the the Carlson slash AutoCAD commands to get those right. So now let's go to um, uh, setting these polylines, or I mean, um, uh, polyline elevation editor, um, which the name has changed, I think, over the years. And I I need to kind of dive down uh, uh, through this command a little bit to kind of get you set up for success here the first thing I want to do is go to settings okay and label control points these are the points that you have elevated non control points are those that will be interpolated elevations this happens a lot around curves and so forth where you've got those arc break lines um, that uh, that are there for um, uh, for making the straight segments you can hide those non control points as well as not label them but I want to see them we're going to auto center that moves the screen auto advance is good and bad and I'll show you why you can do a base elevation so you can do um, uh, an additive uh, elevation to these like we're all around 970 I guess I could put a base elevation 900 and just type 7551 but you'll see why I don't want to do that I can do the slope in different uh, uh, methods here. I want percent because it's a parking lot, and that's what I'll probably want to do. If it was a, a slope on a roadway or something, I'd do the ratio. Um, I don't want to drag a vertex. I don't want to take this thing and move it off the line it was supposed to be on. Um, and create vertex mode is going to be on the line, okay? And add vertex crossing. That is when um, I do the the selected um, line only as opposed to doing the crossing line as well so to add a vertex there too on that line sometimes you want it a lot of times you don't um, two decimals precision is what they have here I'm going to keep the same uh, don't care about much of that grip border width is good um, so we can zoom we can drag to zoom and vertical exaggeration for best fit so that'll make it so I can kind of see the the text as I'm zooming in and out um, then a quick look over here um, oops um, I've got um, uh, I'm going to create a vertex here uh, I'm going to add a vertex at crossings which you'll see me use quite a bit um, I can delete a vertex uh, that's highlighted um, I can uh, delete the the free vertices or reduce them if I want um, and that could that could change and, and that's kind of a whole nother uh, can of worms we can we can open up but um, these other things may come into play a um, little bit later or if you're using different things for different um, uh, different commands like this one will pick an elevation from a surface if I have one so let's take a look at this line and it is all uh, zero which is fine now I want to see where this thing starts and you can see um, this line starts over here and as I scroll down you can see the little blue square move I'll kind of zoom in here um, and if I want to go that way uh, I can do that 
and uh, if I wanted to start at the other end, uh, I could reverse the polyline by doing this, and now all of a sudden, uh, one is going to be back over here. Okay, so you can you can change that if you want. It's not a big deal. Um, and the other cool thing that Carlson has come out with is this um, this kind of live um, uh, as you're drawing it profile graph of what that line looks like. So without any further uh, waste of time, let's start elevating some lines. Now I've got this first one here and I'm going to um, uh, pick on, on text if I can and it'll sometimes pick up text, sometimes won't. In this situation it doesn't, but you'll see it, it might work in other places. And uh, I have to double click on this line. I hit escape and it backed out of the command. It also put a vertex there, which we really don't care about. So I'm going to start here and uh, we're going to enter this elevation. So I'm just going to tab through and come here and do 974.51. And you'll see it goes to this vertex. So I just double clicked on that line, which you can do to double click to add a vertex. And I'm just going to delete uh, uh, that vertice. So I click on that, it gets rid of that. Now the thing it does is it goes to the next vertex, which is up here. You'll see I don't have any on this line, so that's cool. I can come here and highlight this vertex, and I can, uh, I'm always gonna try to pick text and see if it picks it, and it doesn't here. So we're gonna go in and 97369. And you'll see it goes to the next one. And that's all well and good. Um, I can do several things. I can arrow down, um, highlight here, and I can arrow down, and it goes to the next vertex. And that's great if I'm just trying to scroll through a few. Um, but I've got this sidewalk ramp here. So let's say I want to pick this up exact, and I want to pick this at a crossing line. It may not work, so I'm just going to double click on this thing right here and that's going to add a vertex that highlights it and I'm going to pick 97380 and I'm going to run around and continue to elevate these vertices and I'm going to come back when these are all in. The thing I want to point out is that uh, after I entered this elevation here on this point 19, you'll see 974.10, it goes to the next one, and um, that takes me all the way over here. Well, if I back up a little bit, you'll see I've got two elevations here that need to be added. So I can come in here and double click, and that's going to give me uh, that spot, and that's going to be uh, 974.50. And Uh, 974.60, I can double click there. That just adds a vertex. You gotta click one more time um, to get the uh, the thing highlighted. And let me make sure there's nothing else here. Okay, that's good. And it's gone to this one, and we can go 974.4. Okay, that's just one of those things that you can do halfway through and we'll get, uh, we'll get the rest of this done. Now that I've got this done, uh, let's take a look at a, at a couple things I have here. Um, the first one is, you'll see these checked off boxes are the control point elevations that I've set along the line. The other thing is, you'll see that this moves, and I can zoom in on this, you, you'll see that the, the, the profile tool moves along to give me uh, an idea of where I'm at on this thing. I've also got slope callouts here, so I kind of know where I'm going and I can see if there's any big problems. And also the screen will zoom in wherever I'm at to show me my location to make sure that I've got those right. So I'm gonna kind of go through sometimes and check these elevations because everything in between is interpolated, so that's not as important to me. Once I see that that's right, um, I know that, that um, all these are elevated, and uh, in another video, I'm going to show you how we take this uh, edge of pavement line and turn it into face of curb and back of curb. As usual, thanks for watching. Appreciate it, and send me your questions and comments. We'll help any way we can. Thanks.